So uh, any plans on like anything more with the bikes? Anything like a different bike? You want to do like adventure style riding? You want to do cruiser stuff? I, I remember you did a sport glide thing in Hawaii with, with Harley Davidson a while back. Ever My beard's not quite big enough. Um, I'm not old enough yet. I'm old. I'm not that old. No offense. <laughs> um, I, I don't have any plans to get another bike. I'm sure I will. I don't have one that I'm eyeing and thinking that I really want. Um, I have a collection by my own subjective terms. So four bikes, if I thought I needed, needed another bike, the one I'd probably look for is a supermoto okay, or a dirt bike, something that is very off-road capable because none of my bikes are not that I would need it because I don't, but I think some new bike would have to come out because I have the bikes that I want. Okay. I think maybe how many bikes do you have four yeah four Ooh. yes wow and i own all of them and they're all working and they're all licensed very they're nice. actually mine um what bikes maybe are, if, what parks are they or bikes are they i have a 2015 kawasaki ninja 650r customized aesthetically i have a 2007 kawasaki ninja zx6r which is almost done being customized aesthetically and some stuff i mean like exhausts and not no actual engine performance changes and then my main bike the 2018 ktm super duke r which is fully customized and i commented recently short of putting carbon fiber on that bike it's mm -hmm. it can't get any better like it's love that bike and then i also have a 2019 ktm super adventure s which wow. is the touring version of that super duke so it's the same engine but a in a similar similar subframe but then the rest of it you know is different um, that one's fully customized also the end <laughs> yeah no I, I uh i i noticed that you travel a lot <laughs> down down south um and you're doing that on the super duke and then i'm assuming that's why you got the touring one so you could do that with that yeah um i have a friend and he has a super adventure and I rode with him on my Super Duke. We rode from Maryland to Georgia because I always wanted to go on a ride and that was the best bike at the time. And surprisingly, even though that is not a touring bike, it was hard, but my back was fine. Okay. Which is something. Um, oh yeah. And then uh, we wanted to go again. I said, but I said, if I do a trip again, I've got to have a touring bike. And oh, I want to be twinsies. So I got one like he has, and then we rode on those. And, um, yeah, the exact same trip, and I had a touring bike that time. Recently, we rode not very far into Virginia to do Skyline Drive. Mm -hmm. And until the weather gets better, I don't know where we're going to ride. But we, I chose Georgia because it was like the best distance with an event or objective or person at the end relative to Maryland. Um, it was, otherwise, it was, it was a meetup. or Yeah, oh, okay. the first one. First one? No, the second one. You did the first Florida one we went too, to visit right? Chase on two wheels. No, that was a that wasn't riding there. Oh, okay. Uh, the first try, the first time when I was on my Super Duke was to see Chase. The second time on my Super Adventure was to Dan's meet up at Wild Motorcycles and then see Chase. And we, you know, literally took one day to ride. Uh, was it one day there. One day, you rode all the way from Maryland to Georgia in one day. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's it was. The first time we went down, we were making terrible time. We were on our bikes and on the road for 18 hours. It was rough. Anyway. Wow. That's like an iron butt challenge almost. <laughs> almost, right? almost, man. Like if we pushed a little bit more, I could have done 1,000 in 24 hours. That is the iron butt, correct? Uh, yeah, 1,000 in 24 hours. I yeah. I, There's I, like different ones. There's like iron maybe butt. Maybe I did unknowingly because that next, because it was three days total. One day there or one day to ride there, one day there, one day to ride back. Okay. In that next day, we took off riding in the morning for around town. Who knows? Maybe I got up a thousand. I, I haven't definitively, so I'm not going to claim that I have completed that challenge. Plus, you can register for that, right? Yeah, I think you have you to, like to prove send, it or. Yeah, the way to prove it, I think you have to like show them your uh, gas receipt or something. Like so that you, would make you fill sense. up and it has a time stamp and all that stuff. And then you fill up at the end or something like what you could do is you could, I don't know if they require this, but you could hold the receipt in front of the odometer. So you include the odometer and the receipt. Yeah. So that shows the time. Well, I mean, does it? 
I don't know. There's, I there's wish something. The, if the receipt showed the odometer, that would be perfect, but it doesn't work that way. Whatever. I don't. Something like that. Someday I'll, I've got to do that. Yeah, you definitely got to. I mean, that'd isn't be... there a bigger iron butt challenge or something where it's um, seven days and you have to do X amount? Or there's there's what... definitely something bigger because there's there's the uh, the smaller one, which is like that thousand miles. Um, and then there's definitely something way bigger than that. The Iron Butt Association. That is <laughs> ironbutt.org. Are you a member of any clubs? <laughs> the Iron <Why> Butts. <laughs> um, I don't have a Jamie like on Joe Rogan, so um, <laughs> you can't have somebody like look this up for me. <laughs> they definitely yeah. have a lot of stuff. Um, and I, I, oh, the Saddle Sore 1000. So that's what it is. So Saddle Sore 1000, 1000 miles in less than 24 hours. Um, and then the next one is bun burner and then yeah bun burner and saddle sore the What's iron butt bun burner? Uh, the bun say? burner is 1500 miles in less than 36 hours mm. yeah there's a lot of cool things on here uh yeah. ultimate coast to coast you should try that key west florida to remote prudhoe bay alaska so i definitely do i definitely want to do a big um specifically i want to ride through all the 50 well 50 i guess i can't the lower 48 states i want to ride through every um state in the country sometime i looked into it briefly it would take two to three months depending on if you rode four or six hours a day six to eight i can't remember um and then there was this route that shows there's you know a lot of planned courses one is the most efficient way to get mm -hmm. through quickly one is to see major spots um, but I definitely want to do that sometime. I'd love to do that and live stream the whole thing. Of course, the whole live streaming technology as far as out on the road is not reliable. It relies on your data and your signal, which will drop in and out. And, but that would be cool, right? Yeah. Not like you'd watch for three months, but at any point during the three months, you could just check in and check out. Like, is he alive? All right, cool. What's this place right there? I'm done. Like check in for a few seconds at a time and see the progress. And then I'd like to make some kind of video of the experience because – man, it's really motivating to watch people's stories of them riding on these long trips and being done like, yeah, I did it. It's cool. I'd like to do that sometime. That, that sounds, I mean, you got that, you got the adventure bike now, dude. You got that touring bike. Definitely yeah. can do it. Is but, that a lot easier on your, like you said it was easy on your back for the Super Duke. So is that one more well, upright? Has that changed the ergonomics? I don't know. Too it much is. About yes, that. definitely. The sitting position is different. When I took that bike for the first time, the second trip to Georgia, my back hurt more than it did on the Super Duke, which is bizarre. I have a bad back, and for whatever reason, riding my sport bikes does not agitate my back, fortunately. But that Super Adventure, the bigger one, did. Hmm. So as soon as I got back, I got uh, bar risers on it so that instead of my arms being stretched mm -hmm. and my shoulders being stressed forward, they're more up here now. Mm -hmm. And that seemed, you know, I haven't gone on a long ride since then. It seemed to help a lot. I wish I kind of wish I had a backrest, but that's kind of cheating. No, I'll do it, man. If you're gonna do a long <laughs> distance across the country, go get yourself a backrest. Get your something where you're gonna be comfy 100% of the time. I could strap down luggage and sit back <laughs> against it, but yeah, it seems way better now. I'm so glad I put those on. I wish I had them on sooner. Yeah. With the uh, the long distance stuff, um, yeah, it sounds like you thought about it. Like you know, the quickest route, the best route for certain landmarks and all that stuff. You got the bike. I think it's thirteen thousand. Is it thirteen thousand or twenty two thousand? I think it's thirteen thousand miles wow. to do the whole thing. I mean, I've I've looked at some numbers. You know, it's not like I've thought about it really seriously. I just uh -huh. know I want to sometime. I, that sounds awesome, man. That's a that's. I would definitely watch that. I mean, the live streaming, like you said, the technology's not there. I, I, I try to do it myself. I've I've asked you about that, and it's and it's just yeah, it just dips out. Your stream ends, it restarts, all these different problems. But I think a lot of people would really like to see that. Like, there's not yeah. there's not that many like, people. What would there. you do content wise for three months if you're not at home? Um, I have another challenge, but maybe you could make something out of it live streaming the whole thing would be awesome i mm -hmm. don't think you can but i think I, I think there's got to be something to where you travel through the state you're recording you're making content of all the landmarks you bring a laptop with you so then you know after like a week you'll fit, you'll edit that week's footage and then it'll just go up you know next week then once you have like yeah. three or four backed up so also at the same time that way people don't know exactly where you're at I mean, that could be kind of weird. <laughs> They're going to like set up a roadblock for you. They'd be like, oh, I want to see you. <laughs> you. You can't control when people see you. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, wear like full camo. The bike's camoed, you're camoed. Nobody will see you at all. That doesn't sound very safe. 
That's true. I should take that back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that like, I would love do to an see oxymoronic that. Pattern. Pa- pa- do an oxymoronic pattern. Yeah. You have, <laughs> have camo and you have, I don't know why I'm doing Wisconsin, and have a reflective on. Yeah, it's a high vis. <laughs> You'd be like, wait a minute. He has cam on a reflective vest. Yeah. Digital Why? cam, di- digital camo, but uh, with like bright orange, bright yellow, bright green, all mixed yep. in. That, that'd be cool. <laughs> you ever uh, want to go up to Alaska though? You said lower 48. You don't want to ride in Alaska. You don't want to do like oh, some I'd ice like ride. I'd like to, but I'm, as far as one continuous ride, mm-hmm. I would just be easier to do it here. But I, I have visited Hawaii, which is weird. I forgot about that. But I yeah. would like to visit Alaska. Also, you know, if I did this ride, and visited Alaska, then I could say I've been to all the 50 states. But I don't imagine riding uh, through Canada to get to Alaska. Would like I just kind of want it to be simple? Like <laughs> there, have you seen Edward McGregor's? Oh yeah, Harley Borman's freaking. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome and it's just like intense. They recently but, used the live wire on that thing. It's like I think they're on the third one. I I don't know, but yeah. and anyhow. What they do is legit. That is hard. They're going through nowhere with almost no support, and they have to know survival stuff mm-hmm. and mechanical stuff. I don't. So <laughs> if I were to go to the 48, at least I have the chance of, oh, cool, my currency works, and there's almost always somebody within a phone call away if something happens, not like they're doing. So I'm already kind of pushing it, kind of, going yeah. around the country. I don't think I need to put Alaska in there. I still would like to see it. I don't necessarily need to ride there. Um, yeah. I, w- I want to ride in another country, which I think I'm going to do this year. I've oh. never been out before. So. You've never been out of the country? Not any- nope. Not even Mexico? Nope. I mean, oh, every day. <laughs> <laughs> From Maryland. I just every go there day. every day, get, get like a taco or something, come back, you know, it's for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I always take my R8. It's whenever I'm in my R8, I'm in Mexico. <laughs> that's, where all the, that's where all the pictures originate from. You're good. 